and we'll do it together. Okay, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Yes. I, I have a talking jump rope. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, do you did 100, David? I did 100. Okay, ready? Now, step back into sparring stance. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do our footwork. Okay, uh, we're gonna go step, boom, shuffle. Okay, and then we're gonna step this way. Okay, and then again, Shuffle, okay, slide, then turn. Okay, ready? So we're going slide. So anytime we slide, remember, we always move off the front foot first, if we're going forward. If we were to go back, then we move the back foot. Okay, ready? So slide, and then turn. Slide, turn. Slide, turn. Go. So slide and then, uh huh. And you take a step and then you turn. Slide forward. Step. There you go, Kemani, and then you turn. So did you leave? you end up doing the same leg going. Okay, ready? Now the next one, uh, footwork number two, um, we are going to go backwards now. So your opponent is coming. So I'm gonna go back, okay, first, and then stepping. You can adjust yourself if you need to. Okay, so back, okay, and then turn. Ready? So back, and then pivot off your front foot. Okay, so they're coming in, boom. Or you can even go towards the inside when you turn, so go back, inside. Okay, back, inside, boom. So if they come in, you slide back, there you go. And then you move out of the way, so now they're gonna be out of the ring. Yes, sir. Yes, All right, keep going, 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and time. All right, one more. Next time, we're, next one, we're gonna do the step, step. Um, it's the same setup for tornado kick. So we're going step and turn. Okay, and then I'm gonna go the other way. Same thing. Step, turn, and you can do it sideways if you like. One, two, and then I turn, go the other way. One, two. Ready, go. Hi, Kaden. What? Kaden, how are you? Kaden, we're working on footwork, Kaden. So we're going step, step. And then we turn the other way. Step, step. And then we turn there. And then you can challenge yourself. You can do it faster. Mr. Roman. Keep going. Mr. Roman? Yes, David. Um, my dad was calling me. Okay. I... All right. So what? Ready? Watch me, David. Okay. One, two. Two step. One, two.
Okay, ready and finish strong. Five seconds, five, four, three, come on Landon. Two, only two step Landon, and then turn the other way. And time. All right, everyone, uh, we are gonna work on our jump sidekick. Okay, uh, but before we do that, we're gonna work on, if you have a chair or you have something you can hold, you can do that. Um, we're gonna work on when we do our kicks, is getting our knee, when we do our side kick, okay, getting our knee up. So make sure when we kick, that knee is high. Okay, so really trying to put the focus on your knee joint when you kick. Okay, ready? So make sure that base leg, that foot is turned, your back foot is turned, so your toes are pointing. Okay, yes, and then knee up as high as you can, and then kick from that position, then down. So try to get your knee up as high as you can. Knee up, kick, down. Yes, and you can look, you can look in the camera and see your foot position. Make sure everything. Yes, let me see everyone. There you go, you can look in your camera, land in and see your foot position. Come on, David. Make sure your foot is turned sideways. Okay, and then you can make change, you can improve it yourself. You can make some little changes yourself. Is your foot sideways? Is your toes pointed? Is it at the level you want it to be? Like, do you want to kick higher? Like, at the end, it's like, what do you want? Yes, I can tell Caden's really thinking about it. Let's see. Nice, Kimani. There you go, Landon. Oh, don't forget to bring it back, Landon. Okay, all right, everyone. Let's do our other leg. Same thing. Okay, ready? So, and then use the camera to help you with your form. Okay, go. So, knee up and back. Ah, so get that knee up, up high. Get that knee up high. Yes. We're all black mountains. You got it, come on, couple more. You got it. Good body position. Yes, keep going. You'll be able to tell like where you, how you want your kick to be. How Let's, much more minute is this going to take? Until we get it down. Let's see, David. Let me see your foot position. Oh, uh, turn your foot sideways, David. That was better. Okay, let's see, Kimani. Kimani, you've been doing really well with it. There you go. Try to hold it out, Kimani. See if you can stick your leg and hold it. Like when you do your kick, try to hold it. Okay, so. Let's see. There you go, and then bring it back. Yeah, that's hard, right? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I can keep it. That's really good for like your, uh, it helps with your leg coordination too, so you're, you, you're gonna gain, definitely gonna gain more strength. Uh, let's see, Landon, show me Landon. Good form, Kaden. Side, there you go, let's see. Boom, there you go, Landon. Landon, are you left, is, are you left leg? Is that your strong side? Your left leg, okay, it looks really good. And your body position is, as well. All right, let's see, Kaden, let's see Kaden. 
Bam. Nice, Kaden. Kaden, I think you can bring your knee up higher. Even high. Now kick from there. Yeah. So bring your knee as high as you can and then kick from that position. It's hard, right? To try to like keep your knee up. But if you practice, Kaden, you'll be able to get your leg almost, I mean, you'll get higher and higher to the point where it will be vertical. You know, you'll be like upside down. Psychic. Ready, boom, yes. And everyone, time. All right, you can go ahead and put the chair away uh, and then grab your sword or your comeback weapon. Ready, go. So whichever tool you have, So sore or comeback oh. weapon. Yeah. All right, everyone is back. Okay, so we're gonna work on, I know we did part of the form with uh, Mr. Bender. We, we were going to, uh, move on okay we're gonna work on some basic skills so just when we come back to the form um, you'll get it okay ready so we're gonna go uh, I want you to put your okay let's do your left foot forward okay well, actually I'm gonna go this way let's do your right foot forward here and we're gonna go we're going to do the slide and a strike Okay, so slide in, and then I want you to slide back. Okay, ready? Slide forward. Slide back. Okay, forward. And back. And when this is when you do this slide, it's a it's a one, two. So if you're moving forward, it's gonna go one, two. And then if you move back, three, four. Forward, back. Forward, back. Like that. Try that. Make sure your right hand is on top. And you, you're keeping the same foot in the front, your right foot. So your right foot is forward, and you slide in. And then your left foot slides back. Bam, bam. There you go. So defense and offense. You glitch. Okay, ready? David, make sure you mute it, David. Just watch me. I will do it, okay? I will do it a cute I will do it a couple of times. Okay, ready? Here, David. Angle number eight. One, two. One, two. Down. So down the center. Very good, give me 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Nice work, everyone. Okay, so now the next part we're gonna work on uh, with your sword. I know we did the, all the lines yesterday, one through five. Okay, actually let's go, let's review the lines because once you know the lines and you get really good at them, the form will be, you'll be able to pick it up. When we say, okay, this is line four, or this is line five, you'll be able to pick it up really quick. Okay, ready? So line one, we go, I'm gonna do mirror. Line one, we go this way. Line two, line three, Line four, line five, six, okay, and we have number eight. Okay, we'll skip number six and um, number seven and nine. We'll skip those and we'll go straight oh, to eight. Yeah, I don't know what we do. Okay. I, I, I was just gonna ask, why do we skip seven? Yeah, <laughs> so seven um, is up this way and Nine is that one, so we'll add it in because that's actually the beginning part of the form. 
So let's put it all together. Okay, ready? And one, two, three, four. I didn't even know we said go. Five. Oh, we're doing it together. Six, seven, up, eight, nine. Thrust. That's number nine. Yes. Okay, ready? Again? Ready? Together. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Okay. Everyone good with that one? One through nine? Okay. Ready? Practice one through nine. Ready? Go. And then we're going to have a little contest. Okay, go. So practice on your own. One through nine. Uh-huh. Boom. Ooh, I see Caden's got it. Nice, Caden. Five, six. Now, Caden, when you do um, when you do number seven. seven, make sure the blade is pointing up. Yes. Uh-huh. Seven and then immediately eight. So you go boom, boom. Yes. Up, turn. Yeah. So you're cutting up and then coming down. One, two, and then three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thrust. Um, yes. When you do the thrust, step with the same with the right foot, okay? Because you can cover more, more distance when you do that. But that was really good. Excellent work. All right, Mr. let's Roman. let's see, Kimani. Mr. Roman. Yes, Landon. What's the difference between five and seven? Um, five and seven. So five, you come at an angle. Seven, you want to go straight up. Got so, it. Yeah, it's very similar. There you go. Do it again, Kimani. Let's see, one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. I will make sure, Kimani, that um, don't turn your sword too quickly when you're doing three and four. Like, don't flip it. Three, and then bring it. So, boom. Uh, you see how you're turning the sword too soon? Do it again. Cut through, then turn. Yes. So, you want to turn it. When you're here, turn it. So, you can come across with the blade. Yes. Like that. And, and don't do this. Right, you don't want to do this. Just cut, everything is a, it's a cut. Yeah. Oh.